Hey guys, so today we are talking about mixed media. Mixed media? Glad you asked. usually some form of collage, but you can also use digital aspects. So I'm doing this for a concept collage that I'm doing for one of my portfolio projects. I'm going to brief you on my project really quickly. It's essentially like an installation. Each student was given a short excerpt from the book Invisible Cities by Italo Calvino. I think that's right. Cities. They're really abstract representations of an idea of a place. We were each assigned one, and just so we're representing that. I had Risa, which was a city of sadness. I'm going to read you the excerpt. In Risa, life is not happy. People wring their hands as they walk in the streets, curse the crying children, lean on the railings over the river, and press their fists to the temples. In the morning, you wake from one bad dream, and another begins. At the workbenches, where every moment you hit your finger with a hammer or prick it with a needle, or over the columns of figures all awry in the ledgers, merchants and bankers, or at the rows of empty glasses on the zinc counters of the wine shops, the bent heads at least conceal the general grim gaze. Inside the houses it is worse, and you do not have to enter to learn this. In the summer, the windows resound with quarrels and broken dishes. And yet, in Risa, at every moment, there is a child in a window who laughs seeing a dog that has jumped on a shed to bite into a piece of polenta dropped by a stonemason who has shouted from the top of the scaffolding, Darling, let me dip into it. To a young serving maid who holds up a dish of ragu under the pergola, happy to serve it to the umbrella maker who is celebrating a successful transaction. A white lace parasol bought to display the races by a great lady in love with an officer who has smiled at her taking the last jump. Happy man. And still happier his horse, flying over the obstacles, seeing a Franklin flying in the sky, happy bird freed from its cage by a painter, happy at having painted it feather by feather, speckled with red and yellow in the illumination of that page, in the volume where the philosopher says, also in Risa, city of sadness, there runs an invisible thread that binds one living being to another for a moment that unravels, that is stretched again between moving points as it draws new and rapid patterns, so that at every second, the unhappy city contains a happy city, unaware of its own existence. Wow. Okay. Risa, the city of sadness, is explaining part of it is going through all of these specific instances of frustration and sadness, immediately contrast with all of these specific examples of happy things that are happening in the same city and then it ends with this really heavy and dense line of these invisible points moving where there's a city of happiness hidden in the city of sadness never know of its existence and this was a lot for sophomore morgan to try to take in okay basically my concept that i was trying to show to convey this story was blue cherophobia essentially it's a fear of happiness i was trying to convey that these people were sad and they'd become so accustomed to sadness that when happiness was presenting itself to them, they would reject it because they were afraid to lose it again. That's what I was trying to convey in this journey of these, these cubes. So I want to make this kind of concept collage artistic piece at the beginning of my portfolio for this project that's really representing what I'm trying to show architecturally. But I want to take different pieces of paper, crescent board, or maybe cardboard, or foam, I don't know, but I want to use white and black, and I want to start to overlay these on top of each other. Underneath is this layer of white, and black textures are like covering it, and it's trying to come through, but it can't, because the sadness is weighing on top of it. And take a good photograph of it, and then bring that into Photoshop and or Illustrator. I am quite excited. Okay, I'm going to change that.
So that was my final piece for now. The thing with doing these kinds of things is you can't really plan them all out ahead of time, so you kind of play with things as you go. As you probably saw, it was like kept trying different things and then deleting it because I didn't like how it was looking. If you like this video, you can like and subscribe. I'm gonna go get breakfast and then I'm gonna go back to studio and make my meal. Again, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs>